Nakamit ng Air Force Lady Warriors ang set number one kontra sa purest water defenders ng NU. And let's take a look at the set number one highlights. I think we're missing a bit of fire power from the imports of the NU. Uh, purest water defenders. And on the other side naman, Pokari Air Force Lady Warriors with good ball distribution. Everybody contributed. Harry Love. We also saw a lot of dominant hits coming from Palmer. And of course, Myla Pablo. Ate Myla Pablo. Talagang uh, nagpapakita ng kanyang galing at nagbibigay ng mga lessons para sa mga NU girls ngayong hapon. And Love, that was the last kill. She really got up in the air for that one. Ari Love, who has been on a tear as of late as we take a look at the numbers from that first set. You can see on your screens right now, 16 dominant attacks coming from the Air Force Lady Warriors as opposed to only 9 coming from the side of the purest water defenders. In terms of blocks and serves, they're equally um, distributed. One serve for Air Force and one serve for NU. Uh, isa sa mga nawala also coming from the side of the purest water defenders, Anton, is their blocking. Yeah. And uh, that's something that Alexis Matthews, Eliza Solomon, and company have to take care of. Let's see if uh, things will change for them as we begin set number two. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. And Con Rojas together with Chano Soriano. And of course, we also have the fresh grad, Denise Dinsay, roaming around the Batanga City Sports Coliseum, giving us the freshest updates at courtside as Palmer. Way short on that serve. Chano, what is going on with the services of the Air Force Lady Warriors? They really have to adjust with the errors coming off from their serves. Because we've been talking about this, Anton. Um, you're serving because you made a point. Yeah. Uh, and most of their points came from really good attacks. So it's really a stopper uh, in terms of the momentum kapag nagkakaroon ka ng service error. Now let's check out um, some of the tweets here from Louis. Go back if you're in you. Pang malakasan to. All right. <laughs> All right. Very All good right. energy coming from <laughs> our social media fans. Oh, si Jane naman. Good luck. Bobby Pure and you, mga batang palaban. Agree ako dyan. Ako rin. That goes into the land. Yung important attacker de Vera pag nasa likod, iba, iba ka talaga, Janisa. So, she's gaining a lot of fans already here in the Philippine volleyball community. Although she was somewhat silenced, Charo, in set number one. But uh, I'll tell you what's not silent. The PVL fans who are tweeting right now and... Because of all of your tweets, number two tayo ngayon sa trending topics nationwide. PVL on ABS-CBN. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa mga nanunod. And of course, good luck coming from the side of the Air Force Lady Warriors. And again, another service error. You see on your screens, there's, there are two points coming from the water defenders, and those two points actually Serving were given to them Alexa by the Air Force Lady Warriors, coming off from service, both service errors. It's up to the water defenders from NU to capitalize on those errors because they had at least six in set number one, but lost by six. That violation called on Pokariswet Air Force. There's a little bit of confusion here. A net violation was called. Sorry, At least that's what, what was announced. And very unusual coming from an attacker. I think it's one of those strange moments wherein Myla Pablo's hair just touched the net. At least that's what it looked like on the replay. <laughs> and she didn't like that call very much also. Yeah. That goes on. All right, let's uh, go back to Denise Dinsan. Kung sa iba, volleyball is life para kay Faith Nesperos. Volleyball is her destiny. Now, nakangiti siya nung kuneto niya sa akin na naka-attend lang siya ng kanyang volleyball trials dahil na-delay ang kanyang flight. And of course, it also runs in her blood dahil pati ang kanyang tatay ay atleta, katulad niya. Sinabi niya sa akin na talagang pag para sa iyo ang isang bagay, walang makakapigil. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Charo. Maraming salamat, Denise. Well, pag ganun yung resume mo, yeah. uh, talagang parang destiny ang uh, volleyball. 
And uh, I can't wait for her to be 100% to see what uh, she can do yeah, she's on the next now level. Recovering pa lang pala. So on the side of the NU Pierce Water Defenders, Service it's Faith and Destiny on the side of the Air Force uh, Lady Warriors naman. It's love. Yeah. And yung mga conceptual matchups natin sa Currently, darong three three points in this match. Service love is strong right now. Semana. On the second touch, Kagande. Ooh, Janisa Johnson. But what a chase by Tempiatura. Giving it back. Kagande. Cross court attack. Tempiatura again. Great work on the defensive end for Jelly. Matthews. She'll take it. Smart play coming from Matthews. Everybody was already at the end line waiting for a hard attack coming from the NU Pierce Water Defenders. She just puts it in the middle. Nobody was there. What a swipe by Alex Matthews. Natawa ako kanina sa interview ni Vince kay Alex. She said she tried basketball but she was so bad with her hands. So she didn't last two minutes. <laughs> it's volleyball na lang siya. <laughs> yeah, she was very bubbly in that interview also. Yeah. And uh, she put a lot of cheese on her pizza too. Yeah. <laughs> Pero Vince likes the flavor. Hindi nga makapili si Vince He was put on the spot right there. And an ace by Janisa Johnson. Unti-unting nabubuhayan ang um, and you Pierce Water Defenders as they go on a timeout. Let's listen in. Here we go. We have a ball game. We're back inside the Batanga City Sports Coliseum. And we have the very young team captain and setter, Joy Mi Cagande, in action here for the NU Purest Water Defenders. Yes, in their last game against the Banco for Las Pikers, there are 61 total sets. And out of the 61 total sets, 54 of those came from Joy. And uh, I spoke with her a little bit uh, earlier, and I asked her kung sino yung mga NU high school players na aangat na sa collegiate volleyball program. And she told me, siya, si Joy Micagande, si Jennifer Nierva, who's the libero, and Laxina, Ivy Laxina, and Princess Rofias also. I'm so. sure maraming naghihintay sa kanila sa UAAP at Con. Yep. Down the line hit, Myla Pablo. We've been talking about the down the line hits um, coming from the side of the Air Force. And that's something that Coach Babes mentioned kanina, na hindi dapat nangyayari. So, what they want is to control the hits of the Air Force and make them hit angle. So, hindi, hindi nila nasesera ang down the line masyado. But what happened to the Lady Sir, Warriors here, Charo, at uh, medyo malamyaan ka rin ang simula dito sa set number two? It's really the service errors, I tell you. That's uh, it breaks the momentum a lot. Palmer. Matt Palmer. Matt Palmer is, is playing with a lot of spunk here today. I think this can be her breakout performance right here. No. Yeah, because I recall last Sunday, it was Nicolina Asherich yes. from the Cool Smashers who had her breakout performance. So may naman si Palmer, but Palomata sends that one straight to the net. You've been saying it over and over again, Charo. It's their third or their fourth in this set alone, not even counting the previous set. Again, they need to take time when they're serving. Joy Mika Gande, she's a three-time best setter in the girls' division. Imagine if you can keep this team together for the collegiate level. Kagande. Wow! Eliza Solomon. Powerful hit coming from the 16-year-old Eliza Solomon. She means business already at done. Did you see her smile when Sir, we confronted six. with her? If she was really <laughs> just 16. Ang tangkad niya eh! Ang sagot niya, yes kuya. <laughs> yes kuya Anton, I'm only 16. Turning 17 in December. 
Congressman Air Force 7, Ballinger and U-12. I already forgot what it was like to be 16. Parang naalala ko pa yung 16-year-old Chayo. Ganyan ba? Parang ganyan ba? Alaysa Solomon. Like, scoring against two blockers. Ilan ba yan? Let's take a look at the replay right here. Two solid blockers, Love and Panaga. Very tall blockers coming from the side of the Air Force Lady Warriors, but... Her powerful hit really broke that wall. Blocked by Janisa Johnson. Now Johnson showing us that she can block as well. And that's really something that na nawala nung first set. So we're, they really adjusted already. They're blocking better Survey. in this set. I have an interesting uh, tidbit for you, Charo. Itong si Janisa Johnson is a beach volleyball player also. Yeah, I saw her photos um, kanina when they were being interviewed. Wow, Eliza Solomon continues to impress here in this match. And Janisa told me that she's champion for Long Beach State. Wow. In beach volleyball. She is very agile. She has good movement, good defense, and she's a high flyer. So all good traits for a volleyball player and a beach volleyball player also. Panaga to love. And Love breaks Ari down the wall. Lee. Good adjustment coming from Ari Love. The set was a bit off the net, but she was able to do something with that ball. And then yung maganda talaga kay Ari Love. Whatever is being said to her, given to her, talagang pinapalo niya. Very commanding hit all the time. Janisa Johnson. Palmer was there. Tempiatura giving it to Love. We will send it over to the NU side. Eliza down Solomon the going down the line. Solomon. Second technical timeout. Bally what a Fiore match. What a set. And what a game so far for Eliza Solomon. We'll be back. Would be nice to be in Palawan right now. <laughs> I think Janisa also wants to go. Serving for Balancure and you, number five. Yeah, she's only uh, been here since May 9, so wala pang isang buwan. I'm sure she would love to explore the country after this reinforced conference. Yes, I think most of our imports also, we've been mentioning Palawan. And in all the four imports Survey. in this particular Rosie match, Dorka. it's their first time in the Philippines. Oh, ho, ho, Janisa Johnson Janisa with the left Johnson. hand. Did you see that? Wow. Amazing athleticism being shown by Janisa Johnson. Mapakanan. Mapakaliwa. Mapakaliwa. Ganong kalakas si Janisa Johnson. Where's Missy? Pasa. Hindi tayo makapag-play. Okay. Huwag natin pilitin. Pagka nakareceive tayo, maaari, doon tayo sa advantage. Huwag so, nabigay ng, ano, ng play. Huwag pilitin na cross kasi inaabangan nila ito. Mag-down ka. Okay? Tapos sa block, ganun din. Yung retake, huwag muna natin pilitin isaksak yung kamay natin. Ha? Basta huwag lang ma-open yung, ano, yung Johnson. Laging dalawa doon. Okay? So, first, yung first receive natin. Ha? Okay? Okay, one on time. One on time. Very concerned, Jasper Jimenez on that huddle, Charo. Yes, reminding his team that it's always good to go back to basics. Number one, reception. Hindi sila pa-attack dahil wala silang mabigay na maayos ng bola. Ay, went the ants, naman. And also reminding Myla Pablo to hit down the line. Parang nag-uusap yata si Coach Jasper at si Coach Babes ng mga strategy na lang. Matthews with a save. Wow. Let's see what the Lady Warriors will do. Pablo could not get the right elevation. Couple of attack errors coming from the side of the Air Force Lady Warriors. Kanina si Ari Love with an outside hit. Ngayon naman, my love Pablo. And what a save right there by Alex Matthews. Brought to you by Paco. Ari Love with a cross-court attack. Gloria sending it back. Tempiatura very busy today. Pablo getting denied. Pablo will try again, but Alex Matthews just too towering for everybody here in this match. 
good coverage from Palmer. Kaso nga lang hindi na, hindi na nila na ulit. Matthew showing dominance by the net. Ari Love. Ari Love. Cross court for the kill. The warrior spirit for Ari Love. I mean, Eliza was there. She was standing there. She was able to get to the ball. But it was just too powerful for her to handle. And speaking of power, Alex Matthews showing us that she packs a wallop as well. Before coming here to the Philippines, she played in Romania. Alos lahat ng mga reinforcements na nakakausap ko, they, they came from another league somewhere in Europe. And then went straight here. <laughs> yeah. From Europe to the Philippines, Alex, Alex Matthews! Activating Matthews already. Um, I credit that hit also to Joy. Very good hit, yeah. uh, set coming from Joy there. Alex Matthews is averaging 17.8 points per contest. So somebody that averages 17 and then Johnson that averages 29. 29.3, grab it. And then some mga Eddie girls, si Robles ang nahuhuna, averaging 10.8 points per match. Semana, long back set to Love. And Love gets denied. Time Why Air would you Force say no to love? Para mas single block yung kabilahan. Okay? Tanong mo lang, tsagayin mo lang, ha? Tsagayin mo lang. Okay? Ang malayo pa yan, okay? One at a time, guys. One at a time. We need a good receive para magkaroon tayo ng ano, play, okay? Ha? Oh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is a very different set from the Lady Warriors compared to our watched set number one. Yes, I think that's also because they started this set with a service error. So instead of the momentum being on their side, they gave the momentum to the NU purest water defenders. And that's something that you don't want to do. Uh -huh. You don't want to wake up the sleeping giant. I mean, we talked about Johnson being not being able to right, deliver as much in the first set, but now she's been doing everything from blocking to hitting. And what a way for these girls to bounce back after losing that first set. Myla Pablo. Myla Pablo listening to Coach Jasper. He reminded her to go down the line. And that's exactly what she did. Despite the presence of three girls, nakapuntos pa rin si Myla. Now Doramal coming in for Solomon. Yari Yonko is also in now for Air Force. So Air Force has three hitters in front. Yari Yonko blocking. And Daya coming in, cold off the bench and sending that one long. Again, another service error. And the water defenders are at set point now. Jason Johnson serving for the set. And Daya, Pablo, Cagante, Johnson. And Janisa Johnson Ending is able to score. Set. Yeah. Balibir Enya wins the second set. Janisa Johnson played three years in Europe, in Berlin, Finland, and France. Now she's flying high here in the Philippines. And the purest water defenders tie things up as they take set number two, 25 to 10. We'll be back right here on SNA.